Abu Huraira radiallahu anh reported, I saw 70 of the people of the Sufa and none of them had a cloak. They had either a lower garment or a blanket which they suspended from their necks. Some cloaks reached halfway down to the legs and some to the ankles and the man would manage to keep it in his hand to avoid exposing his private parts. Narrated in Bukhari. Allahu Akbar. Right, uh, Sufa is like it was part of the masjid. It doesn't exist anymore. So people looking for the Sufa uh, in the masjid in the Medina of the Prophet Sallallahu so here, Ahl Sufa is the one who is financially skinned. They have no shelter. They, most of them are from the Muhajirin. There's some from the Medina, but most of them, they don't have anywhere to, to, to stay. So they're staying in. So this is number one benefit. We could stay in the masjid if it's needed. No problem to sleep in the masjid. Number two is that the companions are keen to cover their aura. That's why they want to make sure that they are covering their aura. None of them had his clothes above his knees to show his aura. Number three is that it is allowed to put one cloak in you know, one thobe. You don't have to have two pieces, as most of the people they have. Also, we learn from here that the Sahaba, especially those who are the Hadith so far, they have ascetism, zuhd, regarding the dunya. And they are just only basically listening to the knowledge and they were in the masjid. One of them is Abu Dhar radiallahu anh. One of them is Abu Dhar radiallahu anh. Uh, Abu Huraira radiallahu anh from Ahl Sufa because they, didn't have, they don't have food they don't have shelter sometimes so they go there and, and they learn from the Prophet of Allah Ahl Sufa radiallahu anhum uh, when the al Prophet of Allah had given a number of things to basically uh, make them at ease when they came to the Prophet of Allah Messenger of Allah dahaba Ahl Dathuri Bujur People are rich, they're taking all the rewards. They pray like us, they fast like us, but they've got money which they spend. We don't have money to spend. So they're better than us. They've got the rewards. They run away with the rewards. Prophet Allah said, didn't you know that Allah has given you another way of sadaqah, saying subhanallah sadaqah, alhamdulillah sadaqah, Allahu akbar sadaqah, la ilaha illa sadaqah. Even into causing with your wife sadaqah, enjoying good sadaqah, forbidding evil sadaqah. Oh, mashallah, they went back. And that is... Saying subhanAllah, alhamdulillah, la ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar, doing good and forbidding evil, and intercoursing with their wives. And that is sadaqat. And later on came messenger of Allah, our brothers from the rich people had heard what you have said to us. They're doing the same. I mean, they are saying subhanAllah, alhamdulillah, la ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar. They're approaching their wives and they're joining good and forbidding evil. That means they're still better because they've got money and they're spending, we don't have money. <laughs> Prophet Allah said, then this is the pleasure or the favors or the blessings that he Allah specifies whoever he wishes but don't worry if you're poor you enter paradise before the rich you can have huh, more uh, I would say speed to enter paradise you know that the rich person will be held back because he had some paradise in his life he could see his palace but he's been held but the poor person he'll be first because he's been deprived from the paradise in this dunya 500 years he's going to be locked this rich person. وَأَهْلُ الْجَدْبِ مَحْبُوسُونَ Half a day. Ahlul الْجَدْ means the one who are rich. They are being locked half a day. Half a day is at the time of the, the resurrection, 500 years. Allahu Akbar. طيب. Ahlul Sufa, Akhwani, as I said, they used to, what they used to do, they used to gather some uh, wooden sticks uh, and then they will uh, sell it in the market and they'll bring their own food. Ahlul Sufa. Ahlul Sufa, they used to learn Quran and teach Quran. Just learn Quran and teach Quran. And that is just like making a lot of hasanat. And the more you stay in the masjid, of course, the more you're going to be rewarded, but not on the expense of your family. Remember that. 